Hey you two, welcome back to my show, The Leopard Cat, where we are fun, sexy, fearless, independent, and always opinionated. I am here to do another shopping haul video. I know it's been a while, but I've been very busy and just writing and doing different things. So I just want to come on here to do my latest shopping haul video. I got some jeans from the favorite store in the whole entire world, Nordstrom Rack, and I got some good American jeans, um, which I didn't even know were Khloe Kardashian's um jeans so i just got these and i got a couple other things for the summer and these were like 80 bucks for these jeans like see they have like this all the way down i don't know if you can see but like all the way down and these are size 16 um they're regular like 150 jeans like i didn't even realize that when i got them $79.97 and let me just tell you right now these look like they're not tight at all they look like they're gonna fit very well can't wait to wear these um I really highly recommend getting these um they have some with the pearls too but I didn't get them just because they were just at the top and I was just like you know what I'm not trying to spend a lot of money here today so I just got these jeans and um I really can't wait to wear them Aren't these fabulous though? All down the leg. On both sides. Like, oh, that's why I love North Shimrag. You never know what you're going to find. I always wanted some hot pink shorts. I never thought I would find them. And they came right into my face where I wasn't even looking for them. Like, look. Mm. Look, look, look. And while they were like 25, which they're probably free press, they're um, extra XL, XXL, which is, you know, a good size. Great for the summer. They almost look like skorts almost, like a skirt, but a short, but they're shorts. They just tie in the front. They could have been a little less, but I went on and got them because, you know, looking high and low for some hot pink shorts um, can be very nerve wracking, especially with the summer right around the corner. So I just wanted to... I wanted to really come on and um, basically go ahead and get them, show you what I got, and look at these shorts. These are very pretty. Like I probably wear this with like a black top or a pink top, green top, hot pink top, and some like black sandals or white sandals. Like so much goes with this. This was actually only twenty bucks, and this is by Abound, which is like a very popular name that you will find at a um, Nordstrom Rack. Really love these too. Can't wait to wear them. Hopefully, hopefully the weather will get nicer. And I got these. My grandmother actually picked these out. These were $17.99, size 16, navy blue Michael Kors leggings. And boom. Aren't those nice? You could just put these on with like any little top. I do really love Michael Kors clothes even though i'm not really a fan of his handbags like that but i really like his clothes and everything else but you know i got these for 17.99 i said why not and that's pretty much it as far as what i got from you know shim rack this past weekend so that was that um i want to come and talk to you also about the keto diet which i did do for about a week did it for about a week um and that keto diet means no carbs no pasta no rice no no um no breads no sweets no fruit and it was not easy to do but i still did it and i worked out and i just went to the doctor monday and i lost six pounds like and i know i have been doing other things to cut back i literally would go almost 20 hours without eating not on purpose but just going at least 16 hours and it ended up being 20 and you know it just really paid off and i want to continue to do so like um for the rest of this week i am not going to be eating as much i'm not i'm so avoiding fried foods as much as possible because even on the keto diet i couldn't eat bread but i was eating some fat some fried foods so i want to limit that as much as possible and i want to um also limit the amount of meat that i eat so you know fried foods meats and um breads those are what i'm gonna do i've been eating bread for the past three days 
early, you know, working it off and eating salad for dinner, but still I want to cut back as much as possible. I think the biggest mistake that a lot of us make, me included, is once we lose weight, we think, oh, we can go and start eating, you know, cookies and, and things that we're so used to eating. That's how we gain the weight back. Once you realize something is working, continue to do that. And I said, if I haven't lost weight, I'm going to cut back even more so. If I have, then I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, but just in moderation and continue to work out. So I want to say the keto diet definitely helped me, but it's not the only thing. It's not a long-term practical way to um, just live your life, you know. So next week I will be doing the keto diet starting Tuesday because Monday is Memorial Day. So starting Tuesday I will be no breads, no rice, no pasta, um, limiting my meat. Um, what else? working out and still eating fruit like you can eat berries which i didn't even know i avoided all f fruits didn't even know that you can eat berries and you can eat chocolate as long as it's dark chocolate and not you know very sweet so those are the things that you can do as far as uh starting to deal with your cravings to deal with your cravings you could do that so those are the things that i do so that help me you know but it's not easy when you don't live by yourself you got people cooking and ordering out but i'm telling you it is doable you know definitely eat a lot of protein i got sick because i literally have been taking probiotics on an empty stomach not purposely but just as the day went on i said i'm gonna i'm gonna eat and then i didn't eat till late and i just got a really sharp stomach pain so definitely eat um at least brunch like, I still go at least 14 to 15 hours without eating from the time I eat dinner to the time I eat brunch. So, and I eat very early, and I don't eat after, like, 8 o'clock. After that, I don't eat anything. So, definitely continue to, to do that. I'm telling you, the keto diet is great. Definitely something you can't stay on. Like, I'm going on the next Tuesday till I'm going to try to do it a week or either five days, like, I'm going to try to do it a week because I just feel like that's what's going to help me continue to lose weight. My goal now is 10 pounds by the time I go back to the doctor in July and I feel like I could do it. I might lose more, but 10 pounds is, is a great goal. So definitely continue to do that and, and start it if you're if you're not on um, the keto diet. You want to lose weight. You want to limit your meat and your carbs. Do it, but but get off of it and, and try to do practical things. Don't don't stay on it for months at a time. Um, I just wanted to say that you know I want to inspire people and tell you what has inspired me. Um, definitely continue to. I'm going to continue to share my journey with you and um say see what works for me limiting my carbs is working um working now you know fat days out of the week for at least an hour's working so i just want to continue to do that and say you could do it too you really can so you know definitely the keto diet works like it's not a practical diet to do for months on end but i feel like if you go on it for a week or two off a week or two i feel like it really will benefit you so i just want to say that thumbs up this video leave a comment below um and follow me on instagram and twitter at that virgo vixen i will see you in my next video which might be a story time or either a um i don't know maybe maybe a makeup tutorial i really want to do one on the royal baby so i might do that but it won't be till probably next week so I will see you then and um, signing out, stay flawless and stay fearless in your everyday activities. Do you and you can do no wrong. Okay, stay flawless. I mean, fearless. Bye.